The Pricey is correct. Wants to know, has Easy Peasy gone too far? Yes. Yes, it has. Um, more specifically, with the Ritalik, I always say Ritalika. I don't know if it's Ritaliaka. I say Ritalika, but those games, um, they could have more uh, intricate lists with all these, basically, you know, the player half an hour to get all the trophies. It, I feel is doing a disservice to the game itself. Because um, I'm sure most of us, me included, have only played until you got the Platinum and that's it. But there's plenty of game after that to continue. Um, so I feel like if you're going to have a Platinum in a game, it should be from completing the game. If you're only doing 10 levels and there's, you know, 100 more to go, you know, what's the deal? I think that should maybe a unpopular opinion, but I think a Platinum should conclude with you completing the game, more or less. You shouldn't only have to play 30 minutes of it and then you got the Platinum, because the way I see it, a Platinum is indicative of you completing the game to its fullest. If you've only done 10 levels, I understand that, you know, some companies are putting these lists together as a way to perhaps generate more sales, uh, or as just maybe, you know, not caring about trophies. Uh, another one, Albedo from Matter Space. I mean, it wasn't the best game to begin with. Um, so not having to finish it was probably something most people appreciated. <clears throat> but for games like Jack and Jill, DX, uh, Inksplosion, the games like that that have come out more recently, I think those need to have a bit more uh, longer of a platinum. So yes, I think Easy Peasy has gone too far. I don't think Sony will ever do anything about it because, you know, they're making money. What do they care? Uh, as long as it's not, you know, 4K puzzle showdown where they're explicitly saying, buy this and get a platinum. I, I don't think Sony will ever care about what kind of trophies are there. <sighs> so yes, easy peasy, gone too far. It's made... Um, it's also made a large number of games out there that either no one has played because they've never heard of it. Um, so I think these easy peasy games are also taking away some of the spotlight from other more deserving games, I think I'll say. Uh, I realize some of these uh, publishers and devs are very social. They're willing to work with uh, other people and give out game codes. Uh, just anything to generate interest in the community, but at the same time, I think it's also kind of making a negative impact in a way, uh, which I could go on for a little bit more about, but I don't really care to continue this conversation about Easy Peasy. Um, I am not innocent myself. I have played those games. Um, they've gone on sale. I said, I'll give it a shot. Um, you know, it wasn't really fulfilling. I liked Explosion. I, th I thought that was a fun game up until, hey, you're done. Um, I played on the Vita, so the, the, the lag because of all the ink was unfortunate. Um, I, I wouldn't really say Jack and Jill DX was my fault. I won that. <laughs> I didn't buy it. Uh, but yes. Yes, Pricey, you are well aware. Easy Peasy has gone too far. I know the, the allure of the Platinum Ding is just sometimes something you can't overcome. I could just keep talking like this, but I'm not going <laughs> to. Yes, Easy Peasy, Easy Peasy, Easy Peasy has gone too far. I've got a snake in my boot. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Don't know where that came from. But, yes, too far, Easy Peasy. Thank you, Peasy.